Next, we look at this expression 3x minus 4x squared minus 3x cubed plus 5. And we have to arrange the expression in descending powers of x and ascending powers of x. Usually, we will choose the method on the left hand side. Descending, that means from big to small in terms of the powers of x. So we can identify the terms in the expression. This is the first one, second one, third one, and the fourth one. But the powers of x are not arranged in proper order. Therefore, we start from the biggest power first. That means we have, we have the power 3 here. So the, this will be the first term, negative 2x cubed. Don't forget, the negative sign is attached to the number or the variable that follows. So this is the first one. <laughs> the term of the biggest power of x. So minus 2x cubed. And then the second one will be minus 4x squared. The third one will be 3x. Actually, this is plus 3x. There is an invisible plus sign in front of 3. Plus 3x. And finally, plus 5. This is the constant term without the variable x. Now what if we arrange the whole expression in ascending powers of x? That means we start from the plus 5 here. 5 and then plus 3x minus 4x squared minus 2x cubed. Now we have two different ways to represent the expression, the polynomial. And finally, we have to decide on the degree of this expression. And the rule is, we look at the term with the biggest power. The highest power is 3, because we have the term x cubed. Therefore, the degree of this expression is 3. We just count the highest power. 